say it with me? Oh no. <laughs> hey lovies, what, what the, the ride is up, up fam? fam? <laughs> so, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Terri Ann. That was my fiance, Mike. And we are Boston based YouTubers, vloggers. We also do other things, but this is what we do on the side. It's just our regular vlog, it's our weekly vlog, but I'm starting it off dressed, my natural hair done. I don't usually wear my natural hair out, but new year, new me, I'm trying to like experiment more on my natural hair and actually do it because I'm really lazy. I don't like to do my hair, so I don't usually. Um, but Mike and I are gonna film a wedding update video that's different from this vlog. Um, and we are gonna, yeah, that's why I'm in white. So we're gonna film a little wedding update video, but Mike's parents are kind of in the area and they are actually visiting his brother and um, Mike's nephew. And so they're stopping by to drop off some treats for us. So um, we're gonna go see them in a few, like in about half an hour, I think they're gonna be here and then we're gonna run down and go see them. But in the meantime, we're gonna set up the, the setup to film the wedding update video, which I am really excited about. I've been meaning to film a wedding update for like three or four months. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, but we're finally doing it because we have a wedding planner, which we didn't have before and which we hadn't planned on getting because wedding planners are super expensive. They can be like half the cost of your actual wedding. Um, so it just was not in our budget to have a wedding planner, but this platform has like blessed us in so many different cool ways and um, a wedding planner reached out to collaborate with us. So we are not paying for this wedding planner, um, but in exchange for her services, we are um, you know, talking about her services and how she plans our wedding so that you guys can decide if she would be right for you. And so far she's great. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that in the wedding update video. And, um, and another cool thing is that Mike and I finally did some stuff with our invitations. So Mike and I just finished going through all of these templates and we, I think I'm comfortable saying, we just designed our- We just fucking nailed it. We designed our wedding invitations. Actually cut that because I don't want your mom to see me say that word. Yeah, you say the F word a lot in the vlogs, but so do I. Um, so we sat down and we looked through all of these and we pulled from things we liked and we didn't like and we designed our wedding invitations. They're right here. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get a proof of what we designed um, so that we can make a final decision, like see it before we order it, so. Hey guys, so it is much later at this point. Mm -hmm. So we cleaned up the apartment looking nice and neat. We sat down and we also did some wedding things that I won't talk about for too long because we are going to do a wedding update video tomorrow because it is January 2nd today, 2021, and we get married in July of this year and I feel like it is just, time is flying, I just, for a long time, we got engaged in October 2019 and we didn't start planning the wedding until January 2020. And so in January, we got the venue and everything and it just feels like for a long time, we kept saying we're getting married in July of next year. And now when someone asks, it's like we're getting married in July. <laughs> like I feel sick, like I, that's, it feels like not a lot of time and I know how much work we have left to do, but it's gonna be that much easier because of the wedding planner, so I'm super excited about that. So let me stop yapping, yip yapping, and go um, kind of get this set up already. Okay, so I've just finished prepping everything for dinner. We have like the potatoes that are gonna be a part of the making curry chicken for dinner. So I just wanted to get everything seasoned. This is a chicken, I'm about to put it in the fridge. Um, but we have all the vegetables chopped up and the potatoes chopped up and everything. And then all I have to do is make, um, I'm gonna make room in the refrigerator, is make the rice. 
Um, and while I was doing that, I was watching this new vlog. Like, I am always looking for other black YouTubers because um, <gasps> I, I never showed you guys my our engagement photos. We got the rest of our engagement photos. Okay, later in the vlog, I'm gonna show you guys all the engagement photos because they really are so fire. Um, so I was just watching this girl's vlog and her name is Cara Linnell and I'm pretty much obsessed. Like I just like sat here and watched like, well while I was doing all this stuff, like um, three or four of her videos. So I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna actually go get ready. If you can tell, I have some Bantu knots in my hair to make it like curly. So I'm just done doing the stuff for dinner now. Mike is um, going grocery shopping. I'm gonna go do my makeup, do my hair, and do a sit down video for the um, tiny closet makeover video that I'm posting. So basically I filmed the whole, vid whole video and I edited the whole thing too, but I wanna kinda do like a voiceover over some of it, but I also wanna do like a sit down portion. So I have to go um, get ready to be on camera and then like talk through the video and then overlay that and add music and I'll be done. And then once that's done, I think I'm gonna take down the Christmas tree. I'm sure Mike will be back by that point because it takes me about 45 minutes to do my hair and makeup, 45 minutes to an hour to do my hair and makeup. And um, then I still have to film and then we'll take down the Christmas tree. Um, and then I will show you guys the engagement photos because I cannot believe that I haven't showed it to you yet. If you follow me on Instagram though, you will have probably seen about eight or nine of them, but our photographer gave us a ton of photos back, um, which was just freaking amazing. Did I take a shower this morning? Yeah, I already took a shower this morning. I think I wanna take another shower. Really excited about those photos. They're so pretty. We didn't do a Christmas card or anything, so we didn't even get to use them, but we're gonna, I'm gonna have them framed at the wedding. And I think I might blow up one big one and have that at the wedding. And I, th I th yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for our guest book. Just blow up one huge photo from our engagement shoot and then have everyone sign the mat in gold. I just came up with that on the spot. I'm just wedding planning all the time. Okay, I just finished getting ready and I'm gonna head downstairs and start doing the stuff. Mike got back from the grocery store and he is downstairs watching football right now. I think I'm gonna make myself like a caffeine drink. I haven't had coffee or anything yet. It's 1.57, it's basically two o'clock. I haven't had any coffee or anything yet. Look at Mike. I love watching Mike watch football. What? Is fantasy football over? It is. Oh, so you have nothing riding on this game. No, I'm just watching it to watch it now. Hi. Hey. Hmm. I didn't know you were filming. Yes, that makes I sense. am. Thank. Ooh, party mix! So happy. I love party mix. I wasn't going to get any snacks. And then that was like, check out mine. I was like, well, it's a sign from God. It's a... It. <laughs> hey guys, I am back. I just finished filming the little sit down voiceover thingy for the closet tour video. So, sorry, I had to think about that because I have honestly, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. I have been consistently filming, editing, and uploading, and I'm really proud of myself. I always am like two videos ahead, um, which has been super nice because, um, you know, I work. I work full time, so it's, it's always kind of a lot to try to be um, like, I have a video that needs to go up tomorrow. Let me edit it the night before. Like it's always hard because I don't know what my work schedule is going to look like. Sometimes I have to work really late at night and I don't have time to do that and it gets really stressful. So I've been really on top of it, which I've been really happy with. And with, I had some days off for obviously Christmas and New Year's and I really took advantage of it because we had four day weekends. I had four day weekends because of that. And so I tried to really take advantage of every single day and filmed and edited and took pictures on all of those days, which if I could do this for a living, I would be so happy because I actually really just enjoy doing it. It's mostly stressful because I have to balance it with my real job. I super appreciate my real job because they pay me 
And while I do make money off of this, I do not make the kind of money I would like to make off of this. Um, so my real job is still super necessary. Michael is, oh, let me put this stuff away. I try to be better about putting everything away after I film because it tends to get like messy as you can imagine. But let me do this. Let me place you guys and then talk. Mike ran out really quick because he ordered like an Alexa for the car, which I don't really know. He is kind of obsessed with like Apple Play or whatever. My car is old. So Mike sold his car and we are just using my car right now because we are buying a car next year. There's a lot going on next year because we're also getting married next year. Um, so he got this Alexa Play thing for the car so that there's like Bluetooth or something in the car. I don't know. I don't get it, but he's installing it right now. And Mike's back. How was it? Does it work? Uh, you were right. The aux thing in your car sucks. Yeah, it doesn't really work. So the input doesn't work. I'm not keep it, it was cheap, but it won't really work in your car. Ooh, okay, that was what I was gonna say. We are gonna take down the Christmas tree today. So it looks like Mike, while he was out, got the, the decor yeah. box. You guys, this is so sad. The tree is gone, it's in there, and now we're going through. I was gonna leave the wreaths up through winter, but I want to put them away with the Christmas stuff, so they're all coming down now. So the wreaths are coming down. I'm taking like the ribbons off the thing. So I took the red ribbon off the plant and off the cactus. I have to take it off the mirror. I took it off this one. I'm gathering the little Christmas trees that we have like around the house, you can't see that one, but that Christmas tree, we have some more around and we are putting them all away. I took the mistletoe down. I didn't realize how much stuff we had up until I looked around and- I was We like, got very oh, festive this year. We got super festive. But the thing is, is that like the apartment is so big that it didn't, like once it was all up, it didn't look like a lot. Yeah, um, they go for high ceilings. I know. Like taking down the Christmas tree was fine. Like I wasn't sad. But then I looked around and I was like, oh, let me take down the wreaths too. And then taking down the wreaths and all of the bows, that was really sad. Like that made me like, it's gonna look so unfestive in here, but it's time, it's January 3rd. So it's definitely, definitely time. Hey guys, so um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Before I end the vlog, I'm gonna insert a bunch of pictures from our engagement shoot because we got our engagement photos back from our photographer, Karina, oh, yeah. and they look so, so good. nice. So I'm good. obsessed with them. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen like, like seven of the photos, um, but there are so many more. So I'm gonna include some of the ones I have not posted on Instagram. Right. Um, for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy those photos. But other than that, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. We will see you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye. Bye.